99% of businesses are missing out on WhatsApp agents, which means zero competition and huge upside if you act now. Since selling my last tech startup, I've helped thousands of businesses make money with simple AI operating systems. And in this video, I'm gonna show you you can build a very simple WhatsApp sales and support agent using NA10 with no technical headaches and no coding experience required. So let me just show you how this actually works. It's all built in the beautiful NA10. So let me execute this workflow and send a message. So I'm gonna send something right here, which is, in fact, this just recorded my intro. So I'm gonna send this one off. You'll see this is triggered. The way this works, guys, is customer sends a message, it goes through here, and then we have an AI agent. Now what's really, really cool here is we can give this agent any tool we want to, right? We can give him things like access to Google Calendar and send emails. It can do anything. It can update databases. But the purpose of this video, by the end of it, I want you to have something that works, an WhatsApp agent that works, and then you can come in and learn deeper and more complicated and exciting use cases just like we cover inside the community. So here's the message I sent. If I come over here, I'll show you. You can see right here. I sent a message, and if I come down here, you can see the message I sent over here was... There you go, hey there Goose, which is the largest country in the world since my last text cut, text cut off? Okay, that's decent. And then we can see the response. So the response that it's given us is, if I come up and actually open my WhatsApp right now, it says, hey there, the largest country in the world is Russia. And there you can see it's given us a big and beautiful response. And guys, that is literally how simple it is. We just get a webhook, it sends the information, the agent does some magic stuff, and this is where you would prompt it. You would give it information about your business, you can have it with an objective to set up a meeting or whatever it is. And the reason we use WhatsApp is because it has a 98% open rate unbelievable benefits for your business. This will sell for you on autopilot. It will manage any queries. It can access databases. And we're gonna build this whole thing together uh, in this exact same video. So let me just remove this and delete it very quickly. Of course, if you're in the community, you wanna grab this, you just literally uh, come over to the classroom. You scroll down, you grab it over here. And on the left-hand side, you will see this WhatsApp sales agent. All we want you to do is come down and click on this, download the uh, JSON right here. You come back to any tent, you click upload from file, and then the entire thing will populate for you automatically. So let's actually come over and build this one together. So we're gonna use some very simple technology to do this. The first thing we need to do is head over to unipile.com. And the great thing about unipile is you can actually get a seven day free trial. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. It's just a great way to get started and build your WhatsApp agents to help you just automate, systematize, and supercharge your business. So you're gonna click on create an account and you're gonna be asked uh, who, who you wanna connect. So you can click different platforms. I want you to select WhatsApp. So I have deleted everything from this page so you and I can do this together, okay? So you won't be able to see this thing here because my editor's blurred out because he's a chief blur officer of the JL universe, but effectively that's your unique Unipile address that we'll need. So the first thing I wanna do is add an account. So to do that, come over here to connect an account, like so, click on WhatsApp, and then you'll see a QR code. Again, which is blurred out, you able to see this, but you have 60 seconds to do it, so it's almost like we're under pressure, it's high octane, lots of stuff happening. Uh, so you come over to WhatsApp, you're gonna come down, you click on link accounts, that's the bottom right-hand side, click on settings, and then you'll see linked accounts. You click on linked devices, you basically hold it up like this, it will take a photo of it and you do it. Now what I recommend that you do, and one of the cool things about this guys is we don't have to faff around with the meta API or any of that nonsense because it is an absolute nightmare to get set up. Can you do it? Yes, but it's just gonna take you so much time and hassle. So this is successfully added. What I would recommend that you do, by the way, is get a WhatsApp account, a brand new fresh number. Uh, for specifically this. Uh, you can also just download WhatsApp Business and use that if you want to. That's how freaking cool this is because you can just use two different numbers on the same phone with WhatsApp Business. Beautiful. So now we're here, guys. Now we want to create a webhook. And this webhook's basically just going to be whenever you get any message, we're going to get it through to our scenario. It's effectively what we want to do. So you come through to webhooks. I want you to click on create a webhook in the top right-hand corner. And we're going to click on messaging like so. I'm going to call this one JR Universe, which is really cool, and click on continue. And then you can select the scenario that triggers the thing. And obviously you can get very complicated with this. I just want to get you something to get started because we're about the things that actually work here. So on the message, click continue and then all accounts is fine. Then click continue right here. Beautiful, and it's asking for a callback URL. Effectively, all we do now, we come to NA10, we come here, we click on this add first step. I'm gonna zoom out, because it's zooming out a little bit, and you're gonna click on webhook, like so, all right? Then change this get to post, like so, and all you can do guys is click this once, that's it. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty straightforward. If you come over and just paste it in here, please, and then click on create webhook. That has successfully created, which is cool. So if I come here, and by the way, if you want to test this, 
One thing you can do is just message yourself on WhatsApp, which is a really cool feature. So I'm gonna come up and do that right now and open a window to show you this. Okay, so you can see I've got messaging myself there. There I am in my tank top having a good time. So if I'm just gonna say, hey, test, one, two, three, and I send that off. Cool. But obviously, if you got a message from somebody, it would work in the exact same way. And guys, look, if I just search here, test, you can see the message, test one, two, three, which is cool. So what we want to do is we want to pin two pieces of information. And to do that, we're going to use a set node, dead straightforward, come down here to set. And what this lets us do is just map things over, okay? So you can look on this, you can have message, like so. And then the second one, I want you to put ID. And then all you're going to do on the left-hand side, guys, is just search for the message that you sent. And you see I've got the message, I bring that over to the message, which is great, and now we've got the ID. And when I search ID, guys, you'll see a chat ID. You won't see this because it's blurred right now, but you can grab that chat ID and then bring it over. Cool, and then once that's done, what I'm gonna do, guys, is pin this data, which means we don't have to keep texting back, and then I can execute the workflow, and then both the chat ID is gonna be visible there if I double click. And as you can see, message and ID. In freaking incredible. Now, this is pretty much where you can do whatever you want to, and I'm gonna be doing specific courses on this inside the community to help with your business, for sales and for support. Port. But effectively, the bottom line here is if once you get it into NATM, you can do anything you want. You don't need to hire expensive agencies. You don't need to use a billion different headaches or technical stuff. It's dead straightforward. So I want you to just come here, click the magic words for AI agent. Bam, this guy pops in. He is ready to rock and freaking roll right now. Come down to chat model. Now, typically speaking, we never ignore the fact that it's AI responding, okay? We're always upfront and honest about that. We never, ever, ever wanna mislead anybody. So what you can do sometimes here, if you wish, to make this sound kind of realistic, a little hack, by the way, is add in a time. I think it's a wait node. And you can just say, look, I want you to wait, insert random amount of minutes. So don't make it formulate like every five minutes, but we can randomize this function, but add a wait node in the middle. So it's like, okay, he's waiting a second, because there's nothing worse than a needy AI It's just like texting you back like within seconds, right? We all know. That doesn't work. So we come down to chat model. I'm gonna give this guy GPT 4 point mini. You could give it more, something more powerful actually since time isn't important. Remember with AI, you're always trading off on quality, speed, and price. Now price is coming down generally speaking, which is great. And also speed goes up over time, which is awesome. So we got a cool model, he's kicking ass. We wanna give it a memory, really important. Now we can go complicated. Again, I'm gonna go simple for you. Simple memory, which is, <laughs> okay, that's quite funny actually. Um, and then what we can do is have this context window length, which is, hey, how many goes of this conversation do you want me to remember? I put 50. There is fancy stuff that we can do, by the way, guys, to just go back and grab all the search history in WhatsApp. The reason why we don't need to do that is I am just assuming this is a brand new customer messaging you uh, and you can just grab the information. Again, super simple. I want this to get working for you uh, so you can get started. Fantastic, so it's got a memory, it's got that. And then we're gonna give it a really simple prompt just for the purpose of demonstration. I'm gonna say, hey, you are a WhatsApp agent. You will liaise with the customer, you'll be very, very helpful and answer questions. And you're going to do one core objective, which is if they wish, you're gonna book a 15 minute discovery call with Jack. Once you've answered all their questions, you can gently encourage and ask those questions, be polite, be friendly, and be helpful. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna say something like this. You'll have access to a Google Calendar node and that will enable you to book appointments. How cool is that? Sweet. So we've given that information. Now we need to give it the prompt. So to do that, we click on this button, click on define below, which is basically just the agent, like what are you giving the agent to respond to, right? And all we do is we come over and we grab this message and drop it in there like so. So we need to give it access to the ability to bug that. So click on tools. I mean, I'm just showing this as one example, right? But if we come down here to Google Calendar, by the way, if you've not connected Google, I'm gonna put a link uh, somewhere on screen right now where you can follow my tutorial, it's three minutes inside a different video so you can get set up and you're ready to cook and kick some ass. So we're gonna come down here to Calendar. I believe we type in Calendar, Google Council, fantastic. Now, let's actually configure this together. So you select your account here, which you've done if you follow that tutorial. Tool description set automatically, event, create. We select the calendar, which is going to be the Jack at AI Automations with Jack. And in between now and this is the create event. So we don't need to specify the end or the start. So we're actually just gonna let this guy do those two things. Beautiful. Now add field. So we come down and we need to pretty much specify who we are inviting. And we just let the AI do that, all right? So that's really cool. And what we need to do is just tell the AI what the time is, because it will not, doesn't know that automatically. So we double click on the agent, and then you're gonna scroll down, and then you're gonna say, hey, time is two curly brackets. So you hold shift, curly, curly. A little bit of a uh, cheeky thing here. Type in now, that's all we do. So you can just copy that, you're ready to rock and roll. Beautiful, come off. Now guys, the final step here is basically just sending the information straight back over there. Okay, so beautiful guys. So what I want you to do is come over here and I want you to copy this text. 
This is what we call a curl request. Not that the bicep curls we all know and love. This just lets us import it and it will do it. So what I need to do first, okay, is you see what says insert Unipal. I want you to come back over to Unipal very quickly. And then you see the top left here, above my free trial, copy that to clipboard, please. And then you're gonna come back over to your scenario and just replace where it says import Unipal. So it should be sandwiched between two um, kind of slashes, all right? Then all we're gonna do is a classic Control and C, come straight back over to N10. Now this is a cool thing. You probably seen it, but if you haven't, you'll love it. HTTP request, bam. Then guys, import the curl. We'll click here, we hit enter, import, and then we're ready to rock and roll. And then first of all, just make sure you change this import Unipal. I'll change it in a second, which is decent. There guys, authorization. So how does it know that we're authorized? Well, we need to change that. So you're gonna get rid of your underscore a a uh, API underscore key, bam, and then we head back over to Unipal. And then guys, on the left-hand side, I just want to click on access tokens real quick and just generate a brand new token. I'll do it right here, right now. I'm gonna give it all these beautiful levels of access. You can set the expiration date. I'm gonna set mine for seven days and we'll call this one test, one, two, three, and I'll just delete this once we're finished. Great. And it says keep your token safe. You just copy this to the clipboard. Little hack, by the way, if you want to test the API token works, you can just, again, copy this curl and throw it in there. You come back over to NATM, and then you literally, guys, control and V, and just import it perfectly. And then the last thing I need you to do is replace this with message ID. So before I do that, I'm going to delete this. So I've just exited the workflow, no session found in the memory. So we double click on the memory. And then what we do guys in the session key, if I come down here and define below, you're gonna come over and grab your ID and drop it in there. So you can see JSON ID, now it knows whenever I get a message from this number, I access the memory from that individual. Cool, so the next thing we're gonna do is just exit workflow. That will work, it will give some kind of nonsense response, which is totally cool and fine, fantastic. Then we can connect these two together and very easily grab it. We could have just imported JSON, but I, I wanna help you to show you. It's easy with drag and drop. We double click. And as you can see, we've got the information. So we come down here and where it says text, I want you to get rid of that. I want you to grab the output, throw in there, and then you're now ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna quickly update my API key and my Unipile ID, and then we can test this together. And just as a reminder, guys, you see down here in chats and messages, if it's not showing up, you can just grab that message and bring it over like that. And it should show you that it's completely green and ready to rock and roll. Then we can click off, now we're ready to go. So let's actually trigger this all together. So let's unpin and let's send myself a message. So guys, in this scenario, when you click on this, I just want to make sure that if you have this edit field, we wanna make sure we get the chat ID. So to do this, we're gonna come over here on the left-hand side and grab this chat ID, which is right there. So let's come down and put it between these two things here. Beautiful, now we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. So then we can actually give this a test. If I exit workflow, come back over and send a message. So, I, hey dude, what is 29 plus 29? Bam, we come back over, we can see the agent working in the background, it's using a model, it's access to chat memory, then it's sent off successfully. If I come back over, we can see, hey, 29 plus 29 equals 58. So now let's test that it remembers. So again, exit workflow. Obviously, when you're live, it'll do it automatically. Bro, what did I just ask you? Okay, come back over, he's working. It'll access his memory, so he knows. You ask me what 29 plus, so it has context, guys. And by the way, it can store information dynamically in spreadsheets, it can do anything. So let's say, dude, can I book an appointment in with Jack? Do you offer appointments? All right, come over, test the workflow, come back over here. It's gonna say yes, and then I'm gonna give my email address, and we're gonna see if he can schedule an appointment in. Now, obviously, we program him to be proactive about this, so you can develop the script for that. Beautiful, so it's asked for when's best, and when's email address. So I'm gonna say, how about uh, 6th of September? And why don't we say, oh my gosh, if I could type, that'd be fantastic, right, 10th, I don't know, 10 p.m. UK time, email is, all right, okay, and some more information, come over here, we're gonna exit the workflow, come back here, and we're gonna hit enter, like so. Now, obviously, with your calendar, guys, we can set certain availability, we can connect to Calendly, we can do anything we want to. So, he says he's created the calendar, he's now thinking, this is really freaking cool. Did I mention, by the way, we can actually get this to program and reach out dynamically. If you want a video on that, let me know down below. I come back over, Excellent, your 15 minute discovery call Jack is all booked on the 6th of, well, guys, there's only one way to find out. Should we actually go to Gmail right now and see if this has happened? And guys, you can see right here, it has now created an appointment at 11 o'clock. It hasn't had a title in because we didn't specify that. But if I come down here, guys, you can see this. Check this out, right? I come down, I click on add attendee. We'll let the individual specify that. Now check this out. I can add one more field and I can description, bam. So now it's gonna go live with the description. I can come down here. I can say something like, and with these buttons, guys, you can specify the name of it so it's ready to absolutely rock and roll. And now we've got that down, I wanna show you something that's gonna get you ahead of 99% of other businesses, and you can learn that by watching this video right here.